Question. Am I the only one excited about the new Oris release? I don't think so, but nobody seems to be talking about it. So I just want to give you a quick update on the new Oris Diver 65 in stainless steel. Let's get into it. So just a few years ago, the Diver 65 cotton candy dial in bronze came out and it was an instant hit. I mean, even people that weren't into bronze watches were still appreciating this move by Oris because it just added kind of that fun thing with uh, this very serious watch, right? Uh, the Diver 65 is a historic watch and these current offerings are more of a reissue or tribute pieces to the original Diver 65, which is based on the first dive watch released by Oris in 1965. But these specific models, the cotton candy dials, they're more of dive style watches than professional divers because Oris has the Aquas line for those. Just a few days ago, Oris released the same colorways, the same cotton candy colorful dials, but this time in stainless steel cases. And I'm just over the moon about these. The first generation, the bronze one, they were completely fine. A lot of people loved them. It was still a very niche market for them. You know, not everybody is comfortable owning a bronze watch, including myself. I've never owned a bronze watch. I don't know how I would feel about the patina. So there are some watches like the Tudor Black Bay 58 in bronze that has some kind of an alloy added to it to make the bronze less reactive. So it's a lot more stable. It's not gonna rapidly patina like some of uh, other brands. And Oris is known to have that reaction, have that patina very rapidly. So it's very rapid. So they, they start to have this kind of a rusty, dirty look about them whilst having a very colorful, fresh kind of a dial. And I just love that contrast, that juxtaposition. You know, it, it looks like you have a very old watch with a very fresh dial. It's very eye-catching, very unique, nothing else like that. And Oris, again, listened to the consumers. A lot of people were saying that if only they released these dials in stainless steel, it would be something that they would instantly buy. They would immediately get on that. And they have released, they have listened to the consumers and they have released exactly that. The same cotton candy dials, the same three colors, pink, blue, and green, but this time coming in in a lot more modern looking stainless steel case along with white indices. Powering the watch, you have the Oris 733, which is based on a Salida SW200-1. So like all Oris watches at this price point, it is a Salida base movement. So here, here's the thing. If Oris was to move into upgrading their movements, the same thing is going to happen that happened with Tudor. You know, even the base models, the entry level model, the prices are going to go up. So if you still want to get everything Oris, you want to get into that brand and you want to own that piece of history, you want to own that piece of, you know, that, that style of watch, but not at a very high price point, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these. They're very easy to service, they're cost friendly to service. And at this price range between two to 2.5 thousand, it's really an awesome package. By the way, I'm gonna try to get these in for review because I need to see them in person. So I'm in touch with Oris. They don't have these in Malaysia boutique yet. So hopefully soon, I'm gonna get these in for review. So let me know what you think about this stainless steel version. Do you prefer this over the bronze version or the other way around? Please do hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.